How do you use VBLs or vapor barrier liners for cowboy camping? What's cowboy camping? Well, that's the hardest core camping of all. I got a question from a person, a uh, viewer and hopefully subscriber. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce this. Nephilu Zetik. N-E-P-H-E-L-A-U space X-E-T-I-C. Very cool name. Here's the question. Went cowboy camping on the stars a few days ago with the night temperatures around minus 7, deg 7 degrees C or 20 degrees F and day temperatures around plus 5 degrees C or 41 F. Woke up to a st substantial amount of frost and frozen breath on my western mountaineering Apache Gore Windstop. Scraped off most of it, but because of the above freezing temps throughout the day, the remaining frost melted and the outer, outer shell of the bag was wet when I unpacked it. Not a huge problem as I could dry the bag off at home. But would you consider a vapor barrier liner under these conditions on a multi-day hike? Not sure if it would be too hot since I'm still in the comfort range of my sleeping bag. I have no experience with VBLs, but I'm worried about how much the down can take before it's permanently damaged. So that is a good question. Uh, the information from Western Mountaineering, oh, let me show you where I am here first. Just to show you, this is legit. I am camping under a tarp. There's no edits here. Is, so vapor barrier liners, what they do is you put the vapor barrier liner inside of your bag and it's literally a garbage bag. It's an expensive garbage bag. You put this inside your bag to keep the transpiration from your body and not your breath, but your body where your steam comes off when you sweat contain so it doesn't get inside your down. One of the challenges is that frost because the heat from your body still radiates and transmits through the down is if you're cowboy camping and frost is settling on your bag from the condensation at night, that heat from your body will still get the bag wet. It's pretty much unavoidable. It's just a physics problem. Yeah, that's more comfortable. So that's just a physics problem. I found I've only used vapor barrier liners in emergencies and when I was too cold in Antarctica. Now too cold in Antarctica at a minus 40 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit bison bag and I was still cold. Of course I was sick coughing up blood but whatever check it out in my book Antarctic Tears. But will the down get damaged long term on a long hike? If you cowboy camp, and I've seen people do this in the summer cowboy camping, where they just literally camp outside in their sleeping bag, no problem. Of course, I don't know what they do in the rain. I've seen people at uh, Bear Palm, let's see, it was Bear Palm Meadow and Sequoia National Park Kings Canyon. And uh, they were out, but you get wet every day. And so the challenge is making sure to dry out your bag. But when it's cold and snowy, and it's really snowing like this, what do you do? Well, uh, I would highly suggest using a tarp. It makes all the differences you can see here. The tarp prevents the condensation from falling on your bag, and it's very light if you're using trekking poles or ski poles or whatever. That tarp can make all the difference in your experience. If you pack and compress your bag and it's wet, that will drive the moisture into the barn. And for short term, it won't damage it. But according to Western Mountaineering, as long as your bag is dry and you squash the down, it'll be fine. But they say once the down is wet and you compress it multiple times long term, that's one of the problems. Check out my video on how to dry your bag in the field, even in the winter. It totally works. But if you're cowboy camping, that's going to be really, really tough. So... A vapor barrier liner will keep your bag dry from your transpiration, but it will not keep your bag dry from the condensation. And they're very uncomfortable to sleep in. Uh, I, I don't like them. Some people like them, but it's, it's literally like sleeping in a trash bag. So unfortunately, the cost of cowboy camping is that things are going to get wet and you've got to figure out a way to dry them off. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Oh yeah, camping in the snow, got to love it. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description of my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost a Winnie Corner.
Adventure Expedition 1. How to keep your feet warm in the cold. The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide. 50 Jackson Hole Photography Hotspots. The most crucial knots to know. The 2024 Toll Eclipse Guides, as well as my shows Antarctic Tears and World Beyond. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more fun info like this for your outdoor adventures.